Hey, what up? This is Asim Marketers. Today, we're going to be talking about Easy Ecom, right? It's a multi-channel e-commerce tool where you can sync your inventory across multiple different platforms like WooCommerce, Shopify, Amazon, eBay, and many others uh, marketplaces as well. So before I dive into Easy Ecom, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content, right? So here we go. Okay, so because I am not connecting my account right now, so, uh, but luckily they do have a demo mode where I can kind of show you how the tool looks like and how it works, right? So, we, the first thing that you want to probably do is to go into your account settings right here. Uh, this is where your company information is, right? Your address is and then you can add the channels that you're in so um, it detects like where I am I guess because it shows Singapore right here and then they will show you what kind of integrations are available for Singapore businesses right so you have amazon.com that's what we have right here you have Shopify 13 I'm not really sure what that is. It's probably some um, Shopify marketplace that Shopify came out with, right? Because I'm not a huge Shopify user, so I don't, I wouldn't know that. Uh, then there is Magento, Magento Two, Shopify, Store Hippo, WooCommerce, WooCommerce Twelve. No idea what that is. Um, I'm really curious, so let me just kind of search that up. WooCommerce Twelve. I have no idea what that is, right? Um. So we'll skip that and then uh, we, okay so what happens is uh, you just kind of need to click on one of this okay there would there should be a pop-up um, because it worked earlier for me okay so there you go right so there's a pop-up you just kind of put in the information and then you can connect your store uh and then you have Shopify POS and this one right here Mojo Care AAYU so no idea what that is so those are the integration okay and then after that you can sync your account everything will be pulled in and then uh, your finance uh settings right here okay your other settings Uh, change credentials okay no that's we don't need that okay let's just go back in here and then your users you can invite your team members as well as adding multiple different warehouses so you can manage your inventory better so let's see what this is okay so you can create orders as well so these are all like manual uh inputs you know like you want to create a new supplier and create a new customer you want to create a new order maybe you have some customers that walk in and purchase something um you know you can create that from here right so this is the dashboard okay you can see your overview right here can see your sales your inventory right so what what products are you left with right and then whatever is low you can then you know contact the supplier to purchase more and then shipping and wholesale right so you can create a wholesale order as well uh, maybe let's check that out right right so you can choose right a retail order so this one it could be a customer that walked in you want to just uh you know record that order you can do that there's also a business order right so you can add a new contact and then uh you can do a b2b order transfer order uh i'm not really sure what this is is it might be like if you have multiple warehouses and then uh, you are transferring the order from one place to another 
I think that's what transfer order is. Okay, so uh, next will be your orders. So you can see all your bulk orders are here. Okay, uh, new orders are in here. So you can see what channel it is from as well. So all are uh, Amazon at the moment. So these are the orders. Okay, let's see. Okay, and then I guess what happens is that you can confirm the orders and then it will be sent to like shipping or something like that. You can filter the new orders in here as well. Okay, let me just kind of disable at guard because I think it is messing. Okay, there we go. Uh, so at guard was blocking it, right? So you can then create the packing slip, create the shipment, and then you can clear the order from this, right? So once you're done, you just click on confirm. You can do bulk uh, changes right here as well. Okay, you can see your filled orders. Maybe they didn't proceed with payment okay and then you can see uh, you can print your labels and bulk right here you can generate pickup manifest so so what happens is that uh, so pick pickup manifest would be like let's say you connect to Amazon and uh, the courier is supposed to come pick it up from you you can sh tell them like how many items you have for picked up right so that they can prepare if you have like tons of orders let's say 100 200 orders then they probably need to send a truck over if it's very little they could send a van over right then uh, so dispatch history so i guess this is whatever that's been sent out uh, and then your returns and replacements are in here cancelled orders uh, shipped orders okay delivered orders okay so you can see all your orders in here then the uh, importing wizard so I guess this is for you to import uh, new previous orders into easy ecom and then you can look at inventory right here okay <coughs> so you can see whatever products you have how many stocks is left and then your wholesale customer card uh, purchase planning so this is for you to plan in advance when you need to purchase okay uh, you need to make uh, purchase new pr uh, inventory from your supplier right and then uh, your purchase orders are here you can then send direct to the uh, supplier to send more products to you you can manage all your listings right here okay so you can import let's say like amazon Right, and then you can import the listings in here. You can see all your product listings in there. Production orders, cycle count. We recommend conducting a cycle count roughly every quarter. Okay, so I guess this is more f like uh, inventory. You know, making sure that you have the inventory physically and within easy com itself okay then uh, accounting wise uh, you can see all the invoices here you can see the erp system that you can integrate with so these are the ones uh, you have pos here as well so that means your products that you have right you can let's say someone would come in and purchase something for you you can use the pos system just select what you want to what the customer uh, has purchased and then you can create the order you know just through this simple system right here then you can view all your reports right so they've got a lot of different reports right here sales details pending uh, you know reports return reports tax reports GRN report 
So not really sure what GRN is. Uh, and then you can look at. Uh, I think there's some some really good uh inventory report right here, which is, for example, aging report. Right, you can see, uh, the products that came in. You know, how long did they take to sell? Like how many inventory, uh, how many uh inventory are you left with? after 60 days after 90 days that will give you a much better idea of uh, you know maybe you need to run a sale you need to give some discount or you know some promotion where you buy one get one free or whatever it is right to get the inventory moving so that's very useful and then your reconciliation like uh, the payments that you have received making sure that you you know, you actually receive the money. And I guess that's about it, right? I think this too is, uh, you know, it does what it does. It's it's a multi-channel marketplace where you kind of connect everything together and you just view it within one dashboard. So let's say you connect to Amazon and eBay, you sell on these two platforms, you sell on Walmart as well, three different platforms. And you can manage your listings from here. You can uh, look at all the orders that come in and you have all your inventory synced across all three different platforms. And then uh, you have, you can also have, uh, say, uh, you know, you, you can add your suppliers in and you can sell, uh, you can purchase whenever stocks are slow. You can view your inventory as a whole you can also uh what else uh you know you can have a p you have a pos system where customers come in from to your warehouse to make a purchase you can sell on the spot as well uh and then everything is all synced together right so i think this too is great if you are selling on these different platforms itself but of course easy ecom is still pretty early at the moment so what happens that uh, it does support the big platforms like Amazon, eBay, uh, Walmart but these uh, sites are not necessarily open up or are popular in across all the different countries in the around the world right so what happens is that they need to integrate with more different platforms so for example in singapore we use a lot of shopee and lazada as well as uh, cool 10 right here that is amazon as well but it's not as popular right so they need to make sure that they they you know support these uh platforms for me to be able to use it same for let's say if you're in india then flipkart uh you know or amazon those will be the important ones so that's all i have to share about easy ecom if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about easy ecom in the comments below lastly if you know anyone who could benefit from easy ecom be sure to share this video with them right i'll see you in my next video bye bye